This is it, the matchup a lot of you have been waiting for. The Sony Xperia XE Premium against the iPhone 8 Plus. And let's go right to it. Now, obviously, a lot of people waiting for the iPhone 10, although the 8 and the 10 have a lot in common. And for the purposes of the speed test, both of them have the A11 chipset, so maybe pretty similar in terms of speed. And extremely fast boot up time here for the iPhone 8. And the Sony up as well. So while playing for this test, and next up, let's go over the specs of both phones. Both these phones, pretty similar in terms of size and 5.5 inch screens. Now on the Sony, you have a 4K screen, only the second phone in the world of a 4K screen. The first being its predecessor, the Z5 Premium. And on the 8 Plus, you have a 1080p screen. We'll be doing a front facing camera test later in the video. On the Sony 30 megapixels on the iPhone 7. Looking at the back, you see two sensors here on the iPhone, both of them are 12 megapixels. And on the Sony one camera at 19 megapixels, and we'll be having a lot of comparisons to that in the future. Internal storage on the XE Premium, 64GB, and you do have micro SD card support. On the iPhone, you have a 64 256 and no micro SD card support. Larger battery on the Sony, 3230 capacity. And on the iPhone, 2675. Snapdragon 35, 4GB RAM on the Sony, A11 chipset, and 3GB RAM on the iPhone. Both these phones have stereo speakers, and we'll be testing out later in the video. Both phones are waterproof, but higher certification here for the Sony, IP68 versus 67. Looking at the bottom, you see USB Type-C on the Sony versus a lightning port on the iPhone. Now the Sony does have a headphone jack, the iPhone is not. And look around the edges here. So headphones, uh, headphone jack there at the top on the Sony. Beautiful designs on the back of both these phones. Now on the iPhone, you do have a glass back, so you have wireless charging. And let's go ahead and continue with the test. Alright everyone, so all the apps closed down on both phones. And first up we have NBC News. And that one going to the Sony. Was refreshing on the iPhone. iFunny. Again, Sony here. And YouTube. Once again, Sony here. Calculator and clock, eBay, or rather uh, photos, two different photo apps, but uh, the gallery is not much faster there on the Sony, eBay. So as you guys saw, iPhone winning the photos and believe that that was the Sony. Okay guys, Amazon. Now you're going to see the biggest differences here with the, um, again, this one going to the Sony. Now you're going to see the biggest differences here with the games, so Modern Combat 5 first. And this right here, pretty easy win for the iPhone. And Temple Run 2. And it looks like this may be the Sony by about a millisecond. Yep, Sony there. And final game. So Snapdragon holding up pretty well here against A11 chipset. Ash Party. And I think this one will go to the iPhone. Actually going to the Sony, so very, very impressive there for the Sony. All right guys, let's take a look at Intuitor next. Now, as you guys see, higher score here on the iPhone, uh, 214,000 versus 180. Now, a lot of people say Intuit is better optimized for iOS, but extremely impressive score here regardless. Okay guys, moving on to more stuff. Let's do Chrome next. Clear out the web page here on both. And close out, go back in. Okay guys, four sites, let's do IGN first. 
ign.com Now, if you're an iOS user, let me know in the comment section below what, uh, what you prefer using. So this one going to the Sony. INDB.com next. And personally, guys, I do use Chrome for everything. But again, if you're an iOS user, let me know if you use Safari or Chrome. And may change up the web browser in the future. INDB. Again, uh, Sony here looks pretty easy. Uh, pretty easy win as well. Okay, two more. Let's do Apple and then Sony. Apple.com. Once again, Sony here. Sony.com. And once again, we have the Sony here. And this so you guys can see we are on the same Wi-Fi network for both. But pretty easy win there for Chrome on the Sony. Speaker test next. Now both these phones, excellent speakers, great quality. And both of them actually have two on them. So first up we have Sony. iPhone. Okay guys, so in terms of loudness, obviously no contest here, easy going to the iPhone. But let me know in the comment section below if you get the quality. Camera speed next. And let's go ahead and bring Shy Guy for this. Now we'll of course have lots of camera comparisons in the future. But for now we're just testing out the speed. And we'll have a fun uh, fun facing camera test during this video. Actually coming up right after this. And this one going to the iPhone. See, so yeah, iPhone extremely fast taking pictures. No, oh, that one right there was a Sony, and now it's a Sony as well. So yeah, maybe a bit split here. And quick test of the front facing cameras on both these phones. So holding them both in the same hand, gonna be repeating the clips. And on the Sony, you have a 13 megapixel camera on the iPhone 7. And it's just the stabilization here. And quick test of the front facing cameras on both these phones. So holding them both in the same hand, gonna be repeating the clips. And on the Sony, you have a 13 megapixel camera on the iPhone 7. And it's just something with stabilization here. Fingerprint scan is speed next. Now both these phones have great placement on the iPhones right here. And on the Sony, it's over here on the side. So testing out the speed. And looks to be a tad fast here on the Sony. Now both these finger scanners are excellent. As you guys know, most uh, most companies putting them on the back of the phones this year. But not with these two. And actually the iPhone 10 won't even have one at all. Okay guys, so last will be multitasking. 
And let's go into one of the tougher ones first, Tump Run 2. Okay, excellent. Not reloading on either phone. Really good sign. And let's do another game, Asphalt 8. Again, excellent, excellent sign. Neither phone reloading it. Mono Combat. Okay, so this one is reloading on the Sony, but not on the iPhone. So this one does go to the iPhone. Although it is still reconnecting on the iPhone, so it actually was pretty close. All the way back towards the beginning, let's do NBC News. And this one completely refreshing here on the iPhone, so going to the Sony. And once again, back towards the beginning with iFunny. And that one going to the iPhone. Let's do YouTube. Now this app always does refresh on Android, but not on iOS, so that one going to the iPhone. Although you do get uh, newer results on Android, so I think that's intentionally done. And a few more was to eBay. And this one going to the iPhone. Camera. And there's a few more with Amazon. This one going to the iPhone. And to do. Very close on both. To Chrome. And I think that may have been the Sony, but very close on both. And final one was to Photos. I think that was the iPhone. And then let's try rewarding some of these apps, so Temper on 2. Alright, good. They're still in the memory for both phones. And Asphalt 8. Again, very good sign, both still in the memory. And final, final one, let's do Mono Combat. And reconnect them both, so good sign. And this one goes to the Sony. Alright everyone, so let me know in the comment section below which phone you think won. Now personally guys, I think both these phones clearly won in certain categories, so it's a pretty competitive race. Now lots more testing between these two phones, camera test, battery, and more. So please subscribe for more in the future by pressing right there in the middle. Or you can watch another video right now by pressing the bottom right. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching.